Okay, so just now. Okay, so just now. We were praying and, um. I'm prophesying. Down here in the uh, middle of Missouri. Uh-huh. We were praying and prophesying. And the Lord is mighty in battle. Prayers for this day because this day is a day that so many in the wicked camp have stamped as someday there'll be a horrible thing hit the earth and what have you. A meteorite hit the earth, they say, and but it's predictive, predictive pro programming. It's in all sorts of movies and videos and such. So that's kind of how that works, you know, as long as they're willing to grab the wave of the demonic report, they can all say the same thing, right? So, we have the question of whose report are you going to believe? We will, we will believe the report of the Lord. And his report today says he won't have it. They will not. And I quickly saw a lasso. And he grabbed a weapon. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, so I, but I saw a lasso. And it quickly grabbed a weapon. Now, I don't know what that means. But prophetic um, things, you know, come in visions and they come in prayer and they come in different ways. So that's one way. A vision of the day. And is there anything else? Um, today. Today I had a real heart for Justin Bieber. What a glorious, glorious work the Lord is doing in him. I hope it continues and it doesn't fall backwards. And that he can get through some of the day, the day's troubles without too much shame. And the Lord will lift his head and we can all pray for him and keep him alive. Because, I don't know, it sounds like some pretty na nasty filmage they have out there. He's a child of God now. And it probably struggled. Anyways, today I thought about Justin Bieber today. So, be praying for him. So I did think, so I did think boots on the ground also immediately after the prayer. And I was like, okay, that's all the Lord wanted to say was, um, they will not. That weapon that I saw the lasso was seemed like something from WW2. And that size of weapon, you know, you can tell those apart from modern to back then. And so that would symbolize that that was their intentions. The thing about that lasso is it seriously is a lasso rope looking lasso and it looked in those colors of brown with stripes of brown and so anyways and that's funny that that comes clearer when I think about it because I knew it, it as a farmer's lasso it wasn't white it wasn't black it wasn't a bullfighter it wasn't a I didn't think you know what I mean because because of its color of brown it reminded me of a farmer. Lasso, because it had those cartoon colors and stuff. Yeah, and the straw hat. Now, there is a prophetic word somewhere about a straw hat. I wonder what that was. I can't remember. I can't remember everything. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. It was Briggs. He had a vision of Jesus in overalls with a straw hat. Oh, yeah. What's his name, Briggs? Brandon Briggs.
Yeah, okay. So under prophetic unction, because I'm thinking this is the colors of the of the rope that lassos this weapon, um, then I think rope was a farmer's rope or a cowboy kind of thing, farmer. I thought farmer because you know why? Because a cowboy rope is stiffer. That's why. A cowboy rope has that circle because they that's they just grab those cattle and stuff. But a, a this lasso was more loose. It wasn't that stiff rope. It wasn't it <laughs> Glory to God. I don't know. It's just visions and dreams, it's prayer and it's Jesus and it's God and it's prophecy and and it's it is what it is. You've been listening to Jessica, Prophetess of God. This is Deep Talk State of Mind. Brought to you by Sakes Alive Productions. Sponsored by Jessica's. J-E-S-C-U-Z. Dot com.